And welcome back, viewer. If you're just joining us, you're watching GBS Morning Extra coming to you live from our studios here in Nairobi. And as I promised earlier, today I have with me a gentleman and a lady who will be discussing with us several matters evolving around children and also the plight of children who find themselves in homes and some of them are orphans, some of them, you know, abandoned by family, uh, some of them also sent there by the government. And uh, as we'll be discussing this today, I'm joined, I'm joined by Martin Waidanji and Catherine Wangechi. These are the co-founders of the organization itself. And uh, maybe just to start, I would like them to just give us a small brief on why start such an organization and what exactly does the organization do? Why children? <laughs> they uh, say ladies first, so this time it's men first. Men first. Ah, so. <laughs> for the first time, rules are being broken. Anyway, yeah. uh, thank you, team, for this opportunity. Uh, answering the question, why the children? Mm -hmm. is because majority, everybody, like uh, we are all from there. Yeah. It, we, we were all kids one time. Sure. And uh, we look at it this way. If, uh, if a kid is brought up well, or motivated or mentored, mm -hmm. then that seed, that seed will grow positively. Uh -huh. yeah. With that kid in, in his life. Yeah. Uh, you know, when you say that, uh, one thing you realize is that, uh, especially for children who find themselves in children's homes, uh, most of the time we tend to think that uh, they are all orphans, which I came to learn recently or in the, in the past, uh, in the near past, that it's not always the case. Uh, Catherine, why spend your time for such works? Okay, first, it's it's an, um, a fulfilling act of mm. kindness. Mm -hmm. And no matter how um, they are not all orphans, as yeah. you mentioned, yeah. but there's um, something that we all gather from that. All right. Yeah. So. Mm. When we do this act of charity, mm -hmm. it means that we are getting something fulfilling in return. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, yes, you mentioned not all are orphans. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. some were, um, what is this called? Abandoned by Abandoned, family or yeah. something. Yeah. Or maybe the parents cannot raise the kid mm -hmm. in a well manner. So uh -huh. yeah, that's why we do our best mm -hmm. to give them hope. Hope is the key. You know, still doesn't, Click. I think we cut down Kamua. This, I mean, you know, young people are doing so many things out there, and I, 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 I'm trying. I'm just trying to draw this from you. You know, was it just because you wanted a good life for these kids? I mean, Martin, yeah. try and make me understand because just <laughs> telling me that you know kids are raised. I'm sorry, you know, sound come a cliche, but what deep in your heart why do you do this okay uh there's uh there's something inside someone mm -hmm. especially when you meet a child and uh there's there's what right now we are saying uh spread a smile mm -hmm. that innocence in a child you know sometimes it's worth more than even going out to rave mm -hmm. like young people are doing a lot mm -hmm. young people are investing in themselves. Young people are going out to do a, uh, a lot of things. But at the end of the day, if you look back, mm -hmm. uh, when you were young, mm -hmm. there was something you used to yearn for. Sure. There was something you wanted. Mm -hmm. Now, if, if, if I believe if, if we don't stand up for that, then who will? So in Yoshinangalia, Nivizuri, we go back to the kids. Mm -hmm. We go be doing things for them. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, they still need somebody. We are, unlike, and like their parents who in the African setup, mm. parents are parents, they are not friends. Yeah. To us, with us, uh, our age, because we are most, uh, we are usually teens, uh, youth. Mm -hmm. uh, to them, we are like their brothers. Yeah, we are like brothers, their big brother, exactly. So they can come and whisper something to you. Mm -hmm. So I believe, tuliangalia tukaona, ni vizuri adikushinda, kuenda hizo reva, ama kuenda kufanya games come do something with the kid and the kid will never forget sure because uh, uh what what you plant again i'll repeat what i said yeah. what you plant in them mm -hmm. 
they'll also come and multiply it. Mm -hmm. So I, if, if, if this starts and Tunezans uh, are vizuri now, mm -hmm. and they also grow up and start something like, you can imagine oh, how, 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 how that big... Uh, yeah, there'll be that flow exactly. in society. There's something, yeah. as we were having a, you know, when we first met, when you we were having a chat during the, 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 the conference that we attended, uh, you mentioned something to me about these kids staying in the homes, you know, people just coming to visit them yeah, and, you yeah. know, but they hardly come out of those homes exactly. unless they're going to school, for those who are going to school. But for others, wakotu wapo, full time, they don't even come out of those homes. Maybe you can just explain a little bit about this. Yeah, uh, our group, Proudly Kenyan, uh, it's made up of uh, youth and uh, smart brain, uh, smart people with good uh, brains. So <laughs> smart people with, <laughs> with good brains. Uh, so <laughs> we looked at it this way. Uh, we usually love doing charity in a different way. Yeah. And uh, God usually comes through. So when we, when we used to, because we have done charity with other groups, yes. uh, we will see that people just do charity in that manner that you have stated, mm -hmm. of taking food stuff, dry, mm -hmm. or, or stationary, mm -hmm. take them to the kids. Clothes, exactly. Stuff. Mm -hmm. So take them to the kids. And kuna kitu moja ilini shtua sana, because kuna mahali tulikuwa tumeanda kutembea. And... Uh, there was a kid somewhere mm -hmm. hiding mm -hmm. and uh, when I went to talk to the kid because it's their place yeah. Aliweza kujificha. Mm. so you cannot maneuver inside the place sure. so you wonder what's happening mm -hmm. so you sit you sit aside and look at the other how the other kids are treating that child mm -hmm. and utapata sorry to say it mm -hmm. uh, in the bed uh, yeah, which yeah, sure. which which is something kids do yeah so if you want to touch this child, mm -hmm. I, we thought it's also good to take them out. Mm -hmm. Be doing fun stuff with them outside their place. Sure. Be doing fun stuff with them with other centers so mm -hmm. that they don't feel like it's near or peke out. Come on, if, zoo. Exactly. If we Guys are in, just come to watch them. And yeah. If we are in, we call this like a GBS family. Sure. And uh, there's another family outside here. Yeah. If we never step out and meet with the others, mm -hmm. we usually think uh, GBS family, Shida mm -hmm. uh, Tunisi But imagine, you can understand that if yes. you are a grown up, yeah, yeah. but I usually see it more tormenting to, to kids who are younger, uh, not being able to at least see the world. Uh, understand what yeah. the outside world looks exactly. like. Exactly. Mm -hmm. well, whereas they have TVs and uh, videos mm -hmm. and movies mm -hmm. whereby they see other kids enjoying mm -hmm. something like going to the mall, sure. something like going as simple as going to the park, Uhuru Park. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned uh, earlier when we met that what you take for granted mm -hmm. to them matters a lot. Sure, sure. And we you cannot you cannot you cannot get to understand it mm -hmm. if you don't like mingle with them okay. if you don't have that view like now the probably kenyan family mm -hmm. uh, had uh sana. <laughs> let me ask you yeah with what heart do you do this work i mean uki interact now to What's your view of them? Okay, are you just proudly Kenyan going there to make them have some fun and, you know, do something differently? Like he's mentioning, you know, you try to do things differently because your group is formed of Best smart people, smart people yeah. <laughs> and good brains. But you as Wangeshi, personally, how do you take it, you know, when you deal with this, when you relate with these kids? What has been your observation? Basically, mm -hmm. when you deal with them, you deal with them on a personal level. Right. Basically, mostly with mentorship, yeah? yeah. We love to mentor a kid, right. ama a certain group, mm -hmm. age, like we say from 5 to 6, okay. 6 to 12. Also, you, you can we group them, them in groups. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. this, this age gap understanding mm -hmm. is not the same with the, the other. other. Right. Yeah, so we group them differently. We mentor them, mm -hmm. and through that mentorship, we get to learn them on a personal level. Mm -hmm. That's why if we are on that personal level, mm -hmm. we get to know what they are going through. Mm -hmm. They talk to us, 
you know, Cecily smart, as he said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, smart. So we will talk to them like big brothers and sisters. Okay. So they will be able to open up to us and tell us the challenges. Mm. He we should We are going through this and that in our motivating sana. When you interact with them, of course, kuna mtu yasha open up aka kusho. E manze nini hivi na hivi. You know, as a small girl, maybe. Yeah. Uh, maybe you can just share with us one, maybe just one incident. I know mm. there might be many, but just one incident that you happen to come across. Now, you feel, hey, surely uh, then I need to continue doing this. Or just, is there any incident about as I relate now, or the interaction of one of the kids in the, sc in the, in the homes? Yeah. Uh -huh. There's a similar event we had last year, November. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we interacted with kids, mm -hmm. basically girls. Uh -huh. I was dealing with girls All at right. the time. All right. So there's this one girl, she came to me and approached me and told me, Hey, Kate, there's this at Shule, Shuleao, mm -hmm. there's this ka group, you know, these two groups. Girls groups. Yeah, <laughs> 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 they form sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she told me that sometimes some of her friends laugh at her because mm. Atihana was Zazi. Oh. Or she comes from her home. Oh, right. So that was kind of devastating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and also, another one came, approached me, and mm. told me that it's hard for them to get sanitary oh. pads. Uh -huh. So, sometimes we know, eh, Monze, we should acknowledge the fact that we are blessed sure. and also bless. Mm -hmm. Actually, the Bible says in Proverbs mm -hmm. chapter 3, verse 27, mm -hmm. was withhold something that you have yeah. when you can give it to somebody else. Sure. Yeah. Uh, you know, many, many, we've seen many groups mm -hmm. come up today, yeah. and uh, not just CBOs, we have NGOs, we have, you know, many groups that are purported, if I may use, be allowed to use that word to be working for the society or for the children or people living with disabilities and so on and so forth. We have numerous groups. I mean, I think if you go to the office of the registrar, you'll find thousands and thousands registered in Kenya. But most of these organizations end up to be organizations that are only money oriented. Yeah. You know, how do you deal with the money issue in your group, Mato? Uh, <laughs> there's one thing. if. If it's money that dro drove you to the kids, mm -hmm. then you don't have a life. If uh, what you are doing, then ni mungu aliwabarikina ali, ama aliwapea kama jukumu, then uh, his wisdom helps you to maneuver through. Yeah. So uh, our group, uh, the Proudly Kenyan group, mm -hmm. one, it's not an individual, it's not a one month thing. All right. We have a team of 130. All right. Friends who came together and did this, mm -hmm. we are just uh, we are just uh, office occupiers for holders for, for now. now. For now, <laughs> because <laughs> another Election. time comes, mm -hmm. other people will come in. Right. And now, when at my capacity as the chair, mm -hmm. her as the secretary, mm -hmm. we have a treasurer right. who now everything that comes to him uh, must be uh, must be checked by the office. All right. Also, a report given to the members. Uh -huh. So you look at it, if you stop doing something, yeah. you see when you're Martin and Ifanya, even the Kikundi Kinafanya. Then I think transparency, the 130 people cannot stay without being uh, without knowing what's happening with the sure, group. Sure. So whatever funds that come in mm. and uh, you have to give a report. Mm. And uh, no matter if you if you mess around twice or once then the whole team will know uh, yeah, we have an issue. Yeah. But you find most of the NGOs, most of the groups that, that, that are coming in, mm -hmm. it's a briefcase thing. Mm -hmm. It's a one month thing, he has everything. Uh -huh. He just took signatures from several people to know not a signature, as a signature. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you fake <laughs> things sure. and then think uh, you will fool God. Mm -hmm. uh, the, when, when, uh, when you're dealing with kids, it's not all a matter. Uh, yeah. Simtum zimu na Sure. That child, uh, ni, 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 ni under the protection of God. Uh, exactly, uh, uh, Catherine. You know what I've just mentioned. I'm not just mentioning it, and uh, you'll also bear with me and agree with me that currently, as we speak, the government is really strict on people who are operating, uh, especially things like children's homes that are handling kids. 
And the government has been very keen. And in the past, uh, in, the, in the near past, I've, we've also seen in the news where the government has actually gone and shut down some of these homes and shelters. What do you think those people who use, you know, kids who are vulnerable in this manner uh, as, a, as a way of making money, ni image gani wana wana paint kwa watu kama nyinyi ambao genuinely mnataka kufanya hii kazi na truly from your heart when i listen to you you really want to help these kids it paints a bad picture mm -hmm. yeah because wao wanaifanya so that they can gain mm -hmm. from the kids yeah. and that's not a good thing mm -hmm. yeah martin mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's not a good thing mm -hmm. doing that and uh, Let's not forget what the Bible says, mm -hmm. that in the end time, things that we never thought will be done will be happening. Because mm -hmm. when you take uh, advantage of kids, take them and close them somewhere, because Najua, Timo and friends will bring Belkama 11 Zaunga, Sasa unafungua kahadu ya naapo kando, you go sell. Mm -hmm. I think, <laughs> yeah, because we believe <laughs> such happen. Mm -hmm. You, 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 you take pictures of kids. We have seen people take even street kids yeah. uh, to their centers. Or Neshane, they have numbers. Mm. So that the outsiders, um, uh, foreigners, can sympathize with them and send and something. Send some you get good checks. And uh, all you are doing is going building your... Unajijenga wea mwenye. Na sikuile mzungu wanakuja, munaenda tina muna wakusanya, muna waleta, muna So... I think if you even walk around uh, the streets, you'll yeah. find that that's what happens. Sure. These kids can tell you that uh, we, are, we, are, we are taken in by not only homes, mm. but even churches, some churches to say, mm. uh, to, just fill the, to just give them numbers, All right. and then they'll provide sodas and bread for us. Mm -hmm. And then in the evening, yeah. we'll, go back to, we'll go back to the streets. But what are we doing? That's now, that's now like she's saying, it's mm. paining because hoja huyu mtoto amejiona kama chombo. It's like now how I'm having this pen. I'll yes. use it and then dump it. Mm -hmm. I don't need it when I'm walking around. Sure. I can drop it. Mm -hmm. When I need it, that's when I'm coming when to I'm use coming it. To pick it. And it's very painful. And I think there's one man who said, mm -hmm. love people, use items. Mm -hmm. Don't use people and love mm -hmm. items. Mm -hmm. Because that's a new pen or wa mali, lakini tunatumia binadamu. Lakini waldietu mali mefika, most people, uh, it's actually the opposite, you know. Yeah. Guys are more concerned about the material things. They're really not concerned about, you know, people-to-people -people relationship. Yeah. So, I mean, they use the people-to-people -people relationship as a means to an end, which is to kupata iso do. Katrin bado na rudikuwa kwa raka mwotai kujibu swali zangu. Unapenda kuitwa Katrin ama kuitwa wangeshi? Either is okay. Either. Yeah. But then, uh, maybe you can tell me, as a secretary for this group, as I mentioned, you are representing here today 130 people. How are you able to mobilize these guys and how do they make their contribution in terms of sometimes they wanakuja physically ama uwa wanatuma tu pesa zao na njimu na tafta vile muna shuguli kamambo kuenda kuangalia hawa tui? Apana huwa tufanyi yo. We have a plan. And this plan is we contribute a certain amount every month each member mwenye ataweza it's not tena si kulazimisha yeah mwenye ataweza um we have we contribute 300 bob okay. per person mm -hmm. per month mm -hmm. and if the sandi would say dia kwa events All right and sometimes yes what one is akusa pesa like the economy currently you yeah, know yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so it's right now it has been a challenge mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. So when, once you do that, once you you gather the money, mm -hmm. so you decide this time to na fanyanini na ido, maybe you can just explain to us a little bit about how you no. go about the working on the stuff here. Yeah. yeah, we we take to nenanga kwa ground. Mm -hmm. We go to, let's say for now we have two children's home. We are hosting two, two children's homes. All right. Yeah, and they are coming to one specific area. All right. But we had to go to them mm -hmm. to one. Oh yes, they are viable for these yes. these kidogo they are able kidogo ah. oh, so, so you're looking really here there's, there's need, need. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, mm. the, upper, they really need it. Right. Not just go mm. and mm. no, mm. we have to go to one of the right. the conditions they are living in, mm -hmm. everything, mm -hmm. to how we can do or okay. what we can do to help. All right. Yeah. Uh -huh. So once you do that, you mobilize your members? We mobilize them, we tell them we have an event. Uh -huh. We have this budget, mm -hmm. the treasurer, the treasurer mm -hmm. <laughs> and everything comes mm -hmm. up with the, and the office that is. All right. We come with a budget, we mm -hmm. give them to the group members. Okay. We say what you can do to help each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Katrina ni information mob lakini anayinyonga ama ule mwambia nyonge matu nope <laughs> martin yep. the event that you're planning you say that uh, this is uh, how this, how many times have you done this since which year did you guys yeah, since begin? last year since last year yeah so this november marks your first year like she mentioned you had a similar event november La last year exactly. yeah uh -huh. yeah uh, yeah we think we marked our first year in july in july yeah all right so November happens to be another outdoor, we oh. call it an outdoor event All right. for the kids because the, the others mm -hmm. are usually like an indoor whereby right. you, we have small events. Mm -hmm. April and August we usually host three events mm -hmm. so that we don't also bug the members. members. Uh, so. Yeah, so okay. we usually have like, we usually do three events that mm -hmm. is in April, August and uh, December, call it November. That should be during the holiday season. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Because at least we are able, we are able to also take a, uh, use the facilities. Maybe come on. You have now spoken about the event that we are we are, we are hosting. That is Preda Smile, mm -hmm. which is happening in first December. All right. We'll be hosting it uh, at Babandogo, mm -hmm. which is uh, the primary is uh, MM Chandaria. MM Chandaria. All right. Primary. Oh, okay. so it's uh, you're you're taking them from the home, yeah, and you have a different yeah, venue. Exactly. All right. So she mentioned I will be having two centers. That is Shadow Mountain and Treehouse. Okay. These these are centers with sixty kids and mm -hmm. and and more. Mm -hmm. So so each has sixty plus or yeah, both together plus. put together. Sixty plus, mm -hmm. not. Each home has 60 plus, because oh. I think uh, if I have the numbers right, mm -hmm. I think it's 63 in Shadow Mountain right. and 64 in Treehouse. Okay. So bringing 130 kids yeah. together mm -hmm. for an event, uh, like she said, mm -hmm. it becomes a challenge. Sure. But now with the help of members, we mm -hmm. identify what the centers need. Mm -hmm. We also identify what we have what budget we have raised. All right. We bring out the kids and uh, share, mm. share mm. their day together. Do you guys work in partnership with other groups? Maybe there's a group who, you know, they're willing to come and maybe contribute something to your initiative and they would like to go with you on the ground. Or there's an individual. First December, schedule na kaja, job, ni relax, ni nataka join. Is that possible? Do you do that? If you have the poster or invite, yeah, mm -hmm. we allow that. Oh, if you have the poster, we yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but mm -hmm. currently, we don't have sponsors. All right. Yeah, we mm -hmm. don't have sponsors. Oh, so you guys are just doing everything by yeah. yourself. Yeah, we are doing everything by ourselves, mm -hmm. but we hope to get some in the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, friends <laughs> who come in, friends, <laughs> friends who come in, friends who come in, we usually don't close our doors All to right. them because yeah. we, like, uh, like I have been in other groups. I'll, I'll identify one group that is Chapati Forum. Chapati Forum? Yeah. That group cooks Chapati, my friend. Okay. <laughs> 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 I think rule new queen a rolling pin. <laughs> but, so, friends like uh, friends like such. Mm -hmm. We also have Sadiam Toto. We have uh, Get One Buzz. Right. We have several groups that we have been that are, ma that are made also up of youth like us. We right. have worked with. Uh -huh. So when we have an event, they also come in. Mm -hmm. And you identify like a group decides uh, to our idea, to our wow. we can offer lunch. Uh, Kama tunapika mchele, uh -huh. mchele ni sisi tutaminuwa. So. Timo comes in and decides, Kama munapika chapati, bel kama mbili ni zangu. So. You know, that bringing in together. Ama ndaka mimi ni spin machapu. Exactly. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Because <laughs> uh, yeah, please continue, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> so such, 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 such is what we have. Uh -huh. Because now stating that uh, you have to do something when you have a sponsor. Yeah. 
then utakuna nyimo hui mtoto. Yeah. Na yet, Timo has his 100. She has the 500. Yeah. I have 200. Yeah. Looking at what is on the table, that's 800. Mm -hmm. I believe that's already something sure. that two, three kids can enjoy. Sure. So when <coughs> such thing comes in, you don't need to sit down and wait for a sponsor. Uh, so we just looked. We have numbers. We have friends. Why don't we contribute? Mm -hmm. Like she said, uh, we identify an event, yeah. contribute towards it, uh -huh. and then see what God helps us do. Because see, see, see we are just vessels used okay. by God. Uh -huh. So, kikombe, kama ikona capacity ya kubeba lita moja, isingangane ibebe lita tatu. Exactly. Ya, lita mwagika, tutakuwa na waste mob. Yeah. Catherine, msia kidu job kama hii, ama if someone finds themselves doing such a work, it means that... Uh, you know, there's a lot to tell about this individual, either in the ch what they experienced in their childhood. I mean, what we experience in our childhood clearly and largely influences what kind of a future or grown-up I become in the future. Yeah. Uh, not really that it may have like a, a mirror reflection of what I become. I may suffer in my childhood, but then as I grow up, nakwanai hat. You know, the suffering that I went through, I wouldn't want to see any other kid go through that. And that's why sometimes you find people venture into works like you guys are doing right now. But then some people, because of the suffering that they went through in their childhood, <coughs> then they want to do the same to other kids and make them suffer. Si juu Catherine alikuwa na childhood ya ina gani? Mulicheza tapo ama nyinyi wale watu wa mkoa mnaka kijani mkiwatch ma movie tu na ma game mkicheza. Let's say I had a normal upbringing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had not atukuva sana vile lakini mm -hmm. it was a normal upbringing. Mm -hmm. And I thank God for that. Mm -hmm. But sisi kama the team proudly Kenya we came to liketi chini tukaona there's need to help other people. Like when I was growing up, I remember my mom used to tell me that usione ukonayo, ukadhani kila mtu wakonayo. So ata tukua dogo, I remember my mom used to take us to some place at children's home and atombia. Ngoo zikiwa ndogo lakini ni mzuri, ati ustende kupena marimari. They are kids. They are kids who need them more. Yeah, stay in a post kupena vitu marimari, no. But they are people who would need them more. <laughs> <laughs> what you said is is, is very is Funny. very important. I don't know if yeah. you understand what you said, but then yeah. in most societies, it's a trend that kitu ikikuwa ndogo ama ukifil you don't need it anymore. Una peana mare mare ama una tupa. But mostly mare mare, because mare mare almost wana chukua kila kitu. Lakini na joko kwa pea hizo ma ma na siji manini. Utapata kibesheni ya mutapata ndo ya kweka maji. Something in exchange. Yeah, something in exchange. But then I like the way you put it because it's not about you. It's also about, you know, yes, I've used it and now I have something maybe better or I have something that I can use. But then what do I do with this? Is it still about me? Or, you know, I can share it out with another person. Mato, uli grow mutagani? Bin me grow ya tu apanai. Yeah. Nine, the Kuruma, 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 Kuruma is my place. Kuruma, uh, mm. Even schooling up on the Ruru, no. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Growing up, so when you're una 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 nganga, una maybe una enda mal pengine. And uh, growing in Kuruma, you can tell. Yeah. My friend, if you had the advantage to walk to school, short yako bila kiraka. Uh -huh. My friend, you used to feel like an MP. When you let me Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you OG. Yeah. Or you look at your friend whose sweater is torn. Yeah, yeah, kwa elbow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, na angalia, unawana, yako ime kwa ndogo, you can trash it. Sure. But, I love what uh, wazazo wa kitambo wali kwa nafanya. Yeah. Ati ime kwa ndogo, eh, na kuna kazi niyako mahali. Mm. Yeah. Hana, okay. my friend, inasikumu huko. Mm. Asa, but, each generation ingine nye tunagro here, mm. unless now, you have that heart mm. to see that what I have might not be of use to me, yeah. but another person uh, needs it more right. and share. Mm -hmm. I think tunakwanga tunapotea. And uh, we thank God also with us, uh, tunakwanga na a friend of ours who's, uh, 
who's called Torres, right. who started the Mgaromtani. Look uh -huh. at his initiative, uh -huh. whereby he takes he takes in clothes, takes in uh, such the shoes, all right. and uh, even the beddings, uh -huh. that one field that has hitaji, right. and identifies the, need, the, the people that need them also. Uh -huh. So I believe young people have ideas. They have, they have, they have things that they can do to the to the society, the society and the country at yeah. large. Mm -hmm. But usually just feel like uh Mato nim tumdogo. Mm. I'm a is an individual. Mm. Or Mato si juni neza. Mimin me grey huruma so what do I have to show? Yeah. And forget that the little that the little ideas we have, yeah. bring them together mm -hmm. with another person, then it akwa nikitu kubo. Because sasa tunona kutupangwa nikiti that's the norm. Mm -hmm. Because I believe in the, even in this generation that is you and you can pay for a couple of years, a couple of years, and you can pay for a couple of years. You know, uh, the, I, I, was listening to, I was listening to a speech or a talk by one African uh, young entrepreneur. And he was talking about, you know, Africa making, you know, impacting change in the whole world, right? And then he was like, just pick a situation or pick an incident or something that an African or Africa did to impact the rest of the world. And the answer was quite shocking. Yes, there are incidences, but then one thing you realize is that most of these Africans who create such big impacts, global impacts, are not really based in Africa. Uh. They're Africans who are somewhere Mali Maju, but then his theory was quite interesting. He was giving the case of his country where kuna machama za wamama. Na hizi chama za wamama, the way they do it, slightly different from how we do it here, is like for a whole year they will put money together. And then at the end of the year, they will take the money and then calculate nani 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 and then distribute among members or buy some things for members wakiamua ni kununua ma wheelbarrow for the women to do farming wakiamua ni kununulia kila mama mbuzi and stuff but then he was giving another case of a small microfinance company that was started that was almost putting in the same amount that the women were putting <coughs> but then when you look at the turnover of the women's group and the bank, the bank is now worth some billions. Yeah. While the women still just collect like yeah, some hundreds of thousands. And from what I gather and what I see you guys doing, I would like to you know, look at it from the same perspective. The way, like you mentioned, young people have ideas, but then how do we make this idea of a bigger impact? And for that, I'm really curious to know, because also we are running out of time. I'm really curious to know, as you're doing this as Proudly Kenyan, vision yenyu ni nini? Muna takatuku, endanga tuku, saidi ya wasea po, alafu muna rudi, of course, muna fanya differently, muna apereka park. What's the bigger vision of Proudly Kenyan? That What's the impact that you want to be felt in Kenya and maybe even beyond the Kenyan borders with the Proudly Kenyan group? Tuwanze na Catherine. <laughs> Our vision yeah. is to initiate community-based initiatives mm -hmm. through mentorship mm -hmm. and training them. Yeah. Do you have bigger leaders of tomorrow? All right. We are preparing them in a way, at our tapua, in a position to help somebody else mm -hmm. who might be in need in the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Catherine, we miaka tano kutoka saizi. Mm -hmm. Unajiona wapi, ukiendalea tu na kuparticipate kwa hizi initiatives of public Kenya. Mm -hmm. Where do you want to see yourself in terms of your contribution, not just to this group, but to the larger society? I see myself helping a lot of people. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, vitu zita kuwapua, hopefully. Mm -hmm. So, helping people mm -hmm. and talking to people will also help a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, uh, Martin, maybe as you, you can also just give us your your views i mean in five years to come not just for proudly kenyan but also for the larger society your contribution what would you and what do you envision your contribution to be uh in proudly uh you look at it 
I'd love to see us holding event camps. Mm -hmm. the, not not a, not a one day camp, but uh, at least a, you you like a five days thing. Right. Because at the end of the day, team, as we started, they had said that what you plant in a kid mm -hmm. grows in them. Yeah. And uh, like you are a presenter, mm -hmm. imagine meeting a child who wants to one day be a presenter. Mm -hmm. uh, the impact that will, the child will have to come and sit down mm -hmm. and look at the beautiful uh, uh, stage that, that's here. Mm -hmm. If that child, if, if you let that child have that opportunity to do that, sure. that child will never grow uh, outside the, the, the picture. Yeah. The child will have that image, yeah, I'm also looking, I'm also looking forward to growing up and being a presenter mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. team saw me in, uh, as one, mm -hmm. as the community saw me as one. So in five years time, if we have such camps whereby you bring in people in different fields mm -hmm. of uh, business, mm -hmm. These kids, it's not a just a yeah. you have planted something that is of solid, that's yeah. solid mm -hmm. and that will grow in them. Mm -hmm. As an individual, I'll also love uh, where God takes me mm -hmm. to at least pull something, uh, someone behind me. Right. Because uh, it's, very, it's very shocking that we usually want to grow stepping on other people's head, mm -hmm. but we don't want to extend our hand and pull and somebody someone. from uh, behind us, mm -hmm. pull them up where you are. Mm -hmm. Yet the stairs that you leave, if you leave it empty and you start coming back, your flow in a kuanga, in a kuanga, sure. in a kuanga very smooth. Sure. But if there's somebody behind you, you had pulled somebo someone to that stairs, mm -hmm. as you are climbing, as you come back, mm -hmm. that person will also be there to also help you and push you. Sure. Uh, I'll, I'll take that idea of microfinance mm -hmm. and the women's group mm -hmm. that you mentioned. Mm -hmm. These women think about themselves, and that's why they are still at uh, getting wheelbarrows and sure. getting goats. Yeah. Whereas <laughs> the bank mm. thinks, thinks of about the community. The exactly. The idea is the same. Yeah, the idea is the same. But the impact is very different. Because once you think about yourself, mm -hmm. once you do things for you, mm -hmm. once you do things so that you grow, once you do things so that ni Martin, it's not about the community, it's not about the uh, the other person. Yeah. Then trust you me, you become. Uh, and closed out mm -hmm. sure. but if you're open like uh, the, the, the other team that you said mm -hmm. the bank the macro finance, yeah. yeah if you open your ideas mm -hmm. to other people mm -hmm. uh, if you open up to helping people mm -hmm. not kujinufaisha but kusaidia wengine yeah. believe you me you go far and appear so, to share ideas because I mean yeah. when they uh, when they put the money together they lend it to people of course what are the and interests so hence the impact finally as we finish uh Ambia viewers kitu, kusu event ambayo nafanyika first na wakaribishe. So we have the event on 1st December, mm -hmm. venue ni MM Chandaria. Mm -hmm. MM Chandaria iko wapi? Iko babandogo. Oh, iko babandogo. Imesa yeah. ni kama hali uko Parkland. Hapa <laughs> 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 it's a primary school iko babandogo. Uh -huh. uh, we, host, we are hosting two, two homes. Mm -hmm. A uh, number approximately 135, 130, 140 all right. kids only okay. and guests. Welcome, Sana. Sawa. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Martin, also, you can maybe add on to some any other information left on that as you also give your final remarks. Uh, mine is to appreciate mm -hmm. uh, this opportunity because mm -hmm. it's rare. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not normal. Uh, on Sunday, yeah, we'll be will be Sunday, first okay. December. Okay. We'll this be hosting. Coming yeah, this coming Sunday. This coming Sunday. Yeah. 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 Uh, Babandogo, Kichuko number twenty five from town. Uh huh. Ukifika tu ata ukifika apa mwisho ulize kwenye. Uh, it's uh, Manuchandaria Primary School. Right. It's just next to Babandogo Primary. Right. We'll be there from eight a.m. Yeah. Have several programs. That is service in the morning because we are a Christian-based organization. All right, all right. Have a service in the morning. Mm -hmm. Also do mentorship and talks and games. Mm -hmm. Share our lunch together. Right. Have an afternoon session where the kids uh, showcase their uh, whatever presentation they have. Right. Also whatever donation that we get now share with them in the evening, mm -hmm. so that by four, uh, at least the kids will be back home. All right. That's an opportunity for one to come and see what probably Kenyan does. All right. And uh, we, we just don't want, it's not a group that needs money. It's a group that needs you uh, to come share your idea. It's a mm -hmm. platform where young people have come together where we can join hands and 
at least do something greater like we are purporting to do. Sure. Yeah, and I would also appreciate because, like she said, we have different age groups with different needs. Mm -hmm. So you might sit at home and feel like, ah, mimi nime toka seko last year. Mm -hmm. But you are a bigger sister to someone who's two years, five years. So, so. You are a bigger sister to somebody who's 18. Yeah. Look at what also GBS is doing. Sure. Like, uh, mm -hmm. they are the youth camps mm -hmm. that are coming up, yeah. the teens. Mm -hmm. The teen camps, yeah, yeah. the men, the men talks. The form four leaders come, the yeah, men conferences. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah you can mm -hmm. come and identify like now GBS uh, family, whatever they are having. You have that idea, and you s you, you 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 spot a child mm -hmm. in the center, and you have uh, you have the idea. You can also sponsor the child too, mm -hmm. because this child in children's home also deserve a platform like what GBS is hosting. Sure. So you can come and maybe identify, adopt a child, mm -hmm. because you don't have to adopt a child and take him home. Mm -hmm. You can also adopt a child in their center, sure. in their family. Mm -hmm. You adopt him and pay for him like the your camp campaign in Akuja. All right. The the, the kids show yeah, the yeah. school fees. Go mm -hmm. share. Kama vanya lisema my sister. Mm -hmm. You realize a child needs sanitary. Yeah. You can be sharing something uh, during uh, end month. End of month, you take no, the for the, to the yeah. child. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also the, we'll be having several uh, splitted groups mm -hmm. for boys and girls. Mm -hmm. uh, you look also again, I'll, 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 I'll come back to GBS, like a forum that was being hosted here, mm -hmm. yeah, men forum. Yeah. Whatever you learn in such forums, because, because they are of value, you can still also come in and, and help share that boy. Yeah, yeah share, mm -hmm. share it to the boys, mm -hmm. share it to the girls. Mm -hmm. So it's a day open for everybody. It's not right. for proudly family only. Okay. It's a day open for everybody. Okay. We because bottom line, we are Kenyans. Sure. Yeah. Near Kenya water. Exactly. Well, thank you very much, guys, for coming. I really do appreciate and I look forward to the event. Hopefully, uh, I believe that, uh, God willing, Nikipata ka chance nataka ni sneak ni kuje. Karibu sana. Pia huko ni kiangalianga mtani. Kuna mashura kizimeja huko na unzezi vya tuzote ni za kinanani. Is a madam water too. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, uh, viewer, you have heard for yourself uh, from the proudly Kenyan family. Uh, we had today Martin and Catherine, and they've shared with us their vision, they've shared with us their view and why they do what they do. And it's quite interesting that uh, young people in Kenya today have so many ideas, but then if these ideas could be channeled to focus more on the society, I think that we could create a really healthy and you know prosperous uh, nation well to say the least that brings us to the end of our program this morning thank you very much for joining us and i do hope that uh, you will remember to mark in your diary this coming sunday to visit the manu chandaria primary school in babadogo uh, the proudly kenyan will be having the event there on the first of december and i believe that if you join them you'll have fun and also you'll get to share a lot well my name is Timothy Mundi. Do have yourself a lovely day and see you again tomorrow, God willing. Bye-bye from now.